Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial byte for Oxygen Not Included where we're talking about liquid locks. These are small designs that block all gas flow between areas using liquids to do so. They have many applications and are commonly used to tightly control the gas compositions of rooms or preventing gases getting into vacuum areas. They work because of the game simulation mechanics that mean each tile can only have one material on it and gases cannot displace liquids. Here I'm showing the most common design for a liquid lock that uses a trough to trap the liquid. These are fairly simple to construct with the tiles and then are usually filled with bottle empties on either side. Remember to enable the auto bottle feature if you want dupes to pull the liquid from pitcher pumps. Note that dupes will get the sopping wet debuff when using these as they are fully submerged in the central gap. This can be avoided through using suits. I'll quickly mention here this other design that uses a more square trough. However, this is slower for dupes to navigate due to the two tile drop and two tile climb. So I would not recommend using these. An important consideration when using liquid locks is temperature and be careful to match the liquid properties to the temperatures on both sides so it doesn't freeze or evaporate. Using insulated tiles as I've shown is a good way to reduce heat transfer. Water and oil or petroleum are the most common working liquids due to their temperature range and availability. Tubes carrying debris through liquid locks can also cause similar temperature issues so bear this in mind as well. Fortunately this kind of liquid lock is fairly resistant to this as the liquid packets can have significant amounts of mass which evens out temperature spikes. This is more of a risk when using small amounts of liquid which can be achieved by using two different types. Here we're using water and salt water. These can be quicker to fill but are more susceptible to temperature changes so be careful when constructing these. As I touched on earlier, liquid locks are particularly useful for making vacuum rooms which is achieved by liquid locking the entrance and then simply pumping out the gas inside. Remember to move any debris that may off gas and do not use polluted water which will also itself off gas. Vacuum rooms are essential for handling very hot or cold objects, for example volcanoes, because tiles of vacuum do not transfer any heat. There is no heat transfer by radiation, unlike in real life. Double liquid locks can be used to make small vacuum rooms, as shown here, to thermally isolate two areas but still retain access. Vacuums are also extremely useful for isolating around heavy watt joint plates. The wires cannot pass through the walls, but the joint plates conduct heat, which is an issue. This problem is solved by using two joint plates with a vacuum in between. To show you how to build this, I'm going to use the debug mode to demonstrate. Firstly, put in the joint plate and then make a temporary small area around it with the liquid lock entrance. I'm going to use the brushing tool to simulate the bottle empty. Now you can add a gas pump in and vacuum out the area. Skipping forward to when this is done, you can then deconstruct the pump and some of the wires. Add in the second joint plate, connect it up and then add in the tiles around the outside. Once this is done, you can then let the gases back in. And you'll see there's a vacuum formed in the middle and these two are now completely insulated. With that all said, I will also show here my preferred type of liquid lock, which is not a trough at all, but instead uses a set of two tile high steps. Here, only the minimum amount of liquid sits on top of the tiles, but there is still no route for the gases because of the shape. These are made by building the tiles and then emptying a small amount of liquid down the stairs. The additional benefit of this is that as the liquid falls, it displaces the gas, which is deleted and thus forms a vacuum. You can also delete small trapped pockets of gas by constructing and then deconstructing a tile on the square. This design therefore has a vacuum seal built in and is a much more compact version of the double fall liquid lock. Be aware that the liquid packets are also the absolute minimum and so are sensitive to temperatures. For this reason, oil or petroleum are good liquids to use with their wider temperature range. And with this idea, I want to make a wider point about liquid locks in that they can form in almost any small gap either intentionally or naturally. Once you're familiar with the fundamental concept, try not to think about liquid locks not just as a specific design you can build 
but as an outcome from the tile mechanics of the game. Using the gas overlay to track potential routes for gas, you can take advantages of natural locks or quickly form temporary ones without major construction. And this concludes everything you need to know about liquid locks in Oxygen Not Included. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.